Hey guys, Luke here, aka Stone Mosaic, and I'm here with another comic review. This time of Star Wars Adventures: The Will of Darth Vader. Um, if I'm not mistaken, this is um, a series of young adult, kind of kid-oriented uh, Star Wars books in a smaller hardcover. Um, I read a bunch of, of other ones centering around, um, let's see, Princess Leia. Chewbacca, Luke Skywalker, none of them were really that great, but for whatever reason I thought maybe, maybe at the very least this Darth Vader, um, this Darth Vader story would, be, story would be decent. It's written by Tom Taylor and drawn by Brian Koshak. And the story basically um, consists, uh, consists of Darth Vader finding out that there's a rebel base within this asteroid cluster and he has to go and figure out where they are and you know try not to destroy any, any of the valuable imperial ships um because, because apparently the rebels have stolen a piece to the next death star that's really valuable and that they uh would take years to rebuild from scratch so basically um he uh, um, vader is tasked with his mission by the emperor and um Lucky for Vader, a rebel smuggler is captured by the Empire because he's traveling in restricted airspace around this asteroid cluster, and he basically has been delivering supplies to the rebels, but he's not really with either the Rebellion or the Empire. He's just a businessman, basically. So anyway, um, the story continues from there as Vader convinces this smuggler to work with him, and you know, he'll make it worth his while. I won't spoil the ending in case you're interested in that, but... I just wanted to point out the art in this, which isn't really that great, and it's kind of symptomatic of, of the whole Star Wars Adventures series, I think. Let me show it here. I don't usually show art on here just because it gets a little, a little difficult, but as you can see, Darth Vader is not really drawn that well. It looks really cartoony. That's the smuggler right there. Not really that good. There's also another page. Yeah. I can find it. <clears throat> um, and I know Imperial officers are not supposed to be beauty queens, but... Ugh. You know. I'm not really drawn that great. And the whole thing is kind of a kind of a bummer. At least it isn't long and drawn out to take, you know, six issues to, 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 get, to get to where it's going, so... He says that going for it, um, probably give it a one out of five. The story seemed somewhat interesting, but by the time I got about halfway through it, I was just sick of it. And I think I just flipped through the rest, just kind of see what would happen, and it wasn't really all that all that interesting, especially since you know that Vader's going to live. You know, he's not going to be killed by the smuggler or by any ragtag group of rebel troops. So, not not that interesting. And unfortunately, Star Wars Ventures, at least for me, is not really worth checking out unless you're a kid and you like. Really cartoony art, and um, if you're some sort of completist. But anyway, I'm um, going to show you, we'll preview what I'm going to be reviewing next time. Get in the frame here. Uh, the Complete John Sable Freelance, Volume 1. As you can see, this is also a library book. Um, pretty much everything that I've reviewed so far is from the library. I think I still have a, a few trades left to get through. Um, Batman Terry by Steve Englehart, and I believe it's a Casino Royale comic strip collection, similar to the Trouble Spot uh, collection that I reviewed early in the week last week. Um, after that, I'm going to be um, on the subject of, of uh, Mike Grell, who, uh, of course, created Sable. Um, I have a couple uh, Green Arrow trays right there. Longbow Hunters, and then the first trade of his actual Green Arrow run called um, Hunter's Moon. Got those for my birthday and really interested to uh, check those out, especially since Mr. Grell is going to be at the Tampa Bay Comic Con, which I'm going to be uh, going to with quite a few trades, a few issues uh, in tow. Hoping to get those signed. Uh, I think, uh, where's some, where's some other people? I think I'm going to get. Autographs from let's see Andrew Johnson or Andrew Robinson, Dave Johnson. Uh, I think Scott Collins will be there as well. Mike Grell. 
Uh, and of course, you have a Mark Wol- Mark Wolfman, and then um, I think Jim Stranko is going to be there as well. I'm not sure if I have, if I have anything I want him to sign. If I do, he's probably going to have a pretty long line all weekend, and I'm only going to be there one day. But hopefully, um, the start of the following week, which is the the first full week proper of of uh, August, hopefully I'll, I'll review a uh, re- review of the autographs I get, any photos, and then um, any floppies that I get to uh, round up my, my collection because I've heard good things. You can get um, comics for 50 cents to a dollar and um, my comic shop doesn't really do that. So it'd be nice to see what I can get. Any, any uh, issues of, of my interest? So anyway, um, if you like the Star Wars Adventures series and you think I'm, I'm full of it, leave a review and uh, let me know why I think it's so great. If you like my grill and you have any other recommendations, I know uh, one of my, one of the, um, yeah, comic shop employees talked at Warlord, which is a sort of sorcery thing that I'm, I'm not really interested in. But, um, you know, I appreciate that he showed me something that, that, you know, I wasn't aware of before. You know, that's great. That's what comic book, um, that's what comic shop employees should do, you know, recommend things you've never heard of. Um, so, yeah, uh, John Sable review coming out is Wednesday, probably... Friday or Saturday, so expect that, and then a couple more reviews before um, for Tampa Bay Comic Con. Hopefully, that'll be good. Um, it'll, it'll be my my first con, so definitely looking forward to that. Uh, but in the meantime, happy reading.